What's up, guys? Welcome to the Comedy Pop Up Podcast. It's your boy Sean Grant, and as always, we always bring you the best comics in the city. Okay, and today is no exception. This first guy, he's the host of the Late Night uh, Podcast with Stuart and Luke, and was featured on Robert Rodriguez's Matador on L on the L Ray Network. Give it up for Stuart B. Thompson, man. Hey, how are yeah, you? Yeah, and he was a finalist in the inter- San Francisco International Comedy Competition. I'll oh, vote that man. next to your Appreciate name it. at the top. My Thank bad. You. All good. And this next guy, he's a funny comedian, Luke Schwartz. Hello. Yeah, that was the bio he sent me. That is true, and it is true. No, well, I don't know. Because that's more narcissistic than credits. I feel like credits are factual, right? Like what Stuart gave me was facts. You made me call you funny. I don't know. I didn't make you do anything. <laughs> yeah. I sent you a bio. <laughs> Your bio was, I'm a fun, is, he is a funny comedian. So it, it sure. begs my opinion. Like, I, it sounds like I'm saying it. Why are you yelling? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to start like that. I will make it clear that Luke, <laughs> that Luke is... He is a very funny comedian. Luke is uh, 50% of the late night show and the late night podcast. It is with Stuart and Luke, so he is, mm-hmm. he is the Luke. Right, right, right. I, but he so didn't say I, got, I got part of my bio <laughs> in Stuart's bio. Yeah, now I'm here to help. And hey, you guys are dope, man. You guys oh, are doing you, that show for uh, for like over two years? Or over two years. years. In fact, three years. Yeah, three years. Just yeah. celebrated three years. Mm-hmm. That's dope. Oh, mm-hmm. man, you guys have some amazing guests on there. I've been a stand-up on there, but some of you are like... Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, you killed it on the show, Sean. Oh, thank you, man. Sorry about that bus. That's Is okay. that a bus? That's a bus. Is the right studio a podcast. stop on the, uh, we're at, on the metro We're at line? a bus stop, guys. Oh, perfect. <laughs> if I could get my cans turned down, that would be lovely. Yeah, is it, I'm am sorry. I loud? Is it, is it it, literally loud? everything is loud, and then the bus just really drove that point home. Hey, <laughs> now we're cooking gasly. You're good. All right. Well, look, uh, well, just to jump into it, right? I know both you guys from the store. You guys are both uh Let's just jump eras. into it. <laughs> we're jumping in yeah. with some yeah. questions, right? Because yeah. I just, you know, right. want to, because especially Nick wanted to make sure. Nick is the uh, head Hi, of the comedy pop up network. He wanted to definitely dive into the comedy store aspect, and sure. then we'll branch out, get back to the podcast. Because I love that so mm-hmm. much, I want to talk about all the guests that have been on there, sure, man, and what you got going on with that. But to start off, I mean, I met you guys both at the store. Okay. Uh, Stuart, you were there before Luke, right? Yeah, not long before. I I started working there in 2012, yeah, and uh, stopped working the door there in at the end of 2016. Okay. Oh, okay. And mm-hmm. and Luke, you're you. I run the club. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah. people. I don't know if it's an official title that you're a head door guy. Uh, it's, it's an official, uh, he's, he's the, he's the runner gave it to me. Um, Dude, you run it now. And, uh, <laughs> like a whole thing, bro. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, it's, it's I, you, my brother, Peter and me. <laughs> Is Pete, Peter's into the club. Peter yeah. likes the, what's there's the brother that doesn't like the club. Is there a brother like that? that uh, Polly. <laughs> yeah. Is, yeah. Is that, is this, so there, there's only two brothers there's three there's three so the third one was trying to shut it down is that mm-hmm. right or is I, that, I don't know for sure i it's, don't know i don't care it's one of those weird things sucks who cares? <laughs> it's one of those comedy weird. comedy sucks who cares <laughs> it's, it's the, been a comedy club in la for a long time it's great <laughs> whatever yeah it's hard it's hard to tell what's going on with like mm-hmm. the, the inner workings of the of yeah family. they don't tell us so yeah. weird huh <laughs> not ones to share <laughs> no right and you guys were or started with the Mitzi era or was she already kind of out the picture like well I started older. from the bottom and now you're on comedy pop I'm here yeah yes. <laughs> the yeah, yeah Mitzi shout was, out Aubrey Mitzi was still alive when we were working there but oh uh, but she was technically really she but she was not yeah. She was not there, and, and Got it. I, I met her. I, I saw I her. Never maybe, saw her. I saw her maybe three times yeah. in my time working there. Huh. Uh, and the first time was on the 40th anniversary of the Comedy Store. Oh, that's dope. Uh, I had just been working there maybe three months. I was working the back door. They made us wear slacks and tuck in our shirts, <laughs> uh, which you were already wearing. So it's yeah, fine. That, yeah, that was oh, my, Stewart is a sharp dress. That, that is my normal uh, <laughs> one word for normal it. dress <laughs> dress code for a Wednesday. Tucking your shirt into slacks. Yeah, uh, the gross. <laughs> so I was um, so I was at the back door, and the general manager Adam at the time was uh, and he he said you got to clear the entire hallway, uh, and I and there's. A hundred people in the right. hallway because it's crawling with paid regulars from every decade of the comedy store. Right. And I said, why? And they said, Mitzi's coming. And they didn't want anyone to see her 
be wheeled in a wheelchair right, to her yeah. booth in the main room. And it's this long back hallway. Oh, yeah. That's um, not easy to <laughs> clear. Yeah. yeah. So, I didn't know she had such an image thing, but yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when you're when you're a dictator right, right, right. <laughs> of a club, sure, yeah. which is kind of what she was. I mean, yeah. they should have kept replacing her like they did with Castro. Yeah, they should have had like to, new <laughs> Castro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, new, new, uh, yeah. new Minnesotan Jewish uh, comedy club manager body doubles. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I would, so yeah. We, did you successfully? Did you tell everybody like, hey, uh, with Adam, hey Chappelle, get the hell out the. With with Adam's help, we got all, uh, all the paid regulars from the eighties. He Paul revered, right? Just, like Mitzi is coming. Yeah, Mitzi the, is coming. Yeah, the, move, Mi- Steve Martin. Move, Letterman. Everybody. Get if the hell on, out the if way. only anyone who I moved out of the hallway was um of any one percent as famous yeah. as any of those people. <laughs> None of those people came. Really, like huge door. Some of them sent videos. Like Letterman sent a video. Robin Williams sent a video. So nice. Marin oh, wow. sent a video. Video, but like a Marin lot of, was too big at the time. Marin, yeah, yeah, was funny. yeah, he was. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I I told uh, I told all these paid regulars from the '80s who haven't gotten spots in 20 years to, <laughs> to right, move. Right, right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Man. And well, with Luke, like, what's the? I'm Luke. Yeah. What's yeah, up? yeah. What's your responsibilities as as door guy? Like, do you kind of? Well, I basically run the whole club. Uh, I make sure everything is good. Yeah. And um, I I. Only, yeah, I go up for hours at a time and do stand up. <laughs> yeah, and he has I, the and Eddie I, Griffin spot. Yeah, <laughs> right. And then I, you know, I count all the money and I seat everyone. Was that what Eddie Griffin was he? I know he lived there. Was he like a head door guy or something? Or? No, 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 no. He, he, did, he, he just, just did too long all he, the time. He ran the light all the time. Oh, he like that's how people he, and like yeah, he really didn't cook it. B- before I, he we was are drop, we are dropping too many names and burning too many bridges. I don't think before, we're, uh, this I mean, is crazy. I mean, it's a real inside scoop. I love it. All this shit is factual. You could ask anyone yeah <laughs> this, I, I, and it's true yeah, yeah but that doesn't make it okay for me to say it, is it yeah eddie griffin is not going to let us feature for him right <laughs> damn <laughs> oh man dude what, what's some of the craziest things you've seen there? i mean i've i've been oh, there what too. a question no 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 because no, i've been that's there a great question i know then answer it uh <laughs> Do you want me to start? I no, no, mean, let Luke do it. Let's let's see no. be funny I, in a box. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I saw uh I saw Polly Shore hanging out one time. That was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what about you, Stuart? <laughs> uh, I saw someone. Could have made that funny. He could. He could. Was... I so, went the other way. I thought uh, that was the humor of it. Uh, I saw a guy. Uh, wa- I was working the phones during the daytime, and yeah. uh, a guy who had previously been banned from the club for uh, harassing and grabbing waitresses walked into the a comedian. Uh, I don't know what he was. I, he, oh. you know, the, the the line between comedian and homeless person <laughs> at the open mic level is so fine. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, I think he leaned more homeless, mm. uh, but he was around, and yeah. he had this sort of like stringy blonde curly hair, and he walked in wearing a kimono. <laughs> and I only n- noticed this because I was turning on air conditioning units in the in the rooms to get him yeah. ready for the shows. This is in the mid afternoon, and I saw him walk into the back of the main room. Uh, yeah. Where there's the green room, and I told the day manager where a shower. And there is also a shower and a bathroom yeah. and in the main room. In the main room, green room. Oh wow! Yeah. Right. So don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I told the day manager, I was like, "Hey, this weird guy came in who I think is banned, and he's." We go back, and we get to the green room, and the shower is going, mm-hmm. and it's running, and. The manager says, hey, man, you can't be using the shower here. Uh, you got to go. And the dude walks out stark naked right. um, and <laughs> stares at the day manager for a little for a moment and then puts on his kimono back on while he's still wet. Yeah. And then walks out onto Sunset Boulevard. Oh, without a word, without a word. <laughs> So it was respectful. Yeah. I mean, it was creepy. <laughs> right. I think the staring, too. Like, yeah. you kind of have to stare back because yeah. you know, he can't go in it. He can't lose that staring contest. No. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, that's... I would, I'd lose every staring contest. <laughs> with I a look, naked I look, I look away from everyone all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't made eye contact with Stuart in a year. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, man. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah, one time... Oh, now you want to really answer the One question. time I was working... <laughs> And God, we stayed until like yeah. twelve. Twelve, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. crazy. That's pretty crazy. Oh, I, I, I know some of those shifts go late. 
<laughs> Luke, if you guys aren't familiar with Luke, he does this uh, this thing. Like he's this very, he's like, and I told what you this thing, at the last. Very humorous. Well, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Is like sometimes that's my shtick. I don't think you mind if people aren't really laughing <laughs> with you, but you're very funny. Like I've, there's some no, comedians. If, if, if I'm bombing, it, if you get it, you're laughing. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like if <laughs> I'm not, I'm not getting everyone. laughs, I'm I, I don't feel funny. Like I'm mm-hmm. not funny. But right. you're still fun. Like, oh, yeah, I'm better be than like, them. Like, yeah, that's what <laughs> yeah. I'm saying. Like, people can be around you and be like, yeah. I'm not laughing at this guy, but he's very funny. Yeah. yeah. Like, he's he's pissing me off. I get a lot of, <laughs> I get a lot of, uh, <laughs> but he's so funny. Wows. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's, it's just an audible he wow. Went there. Yeah. How did, is that how your entire comedy, career, like, even as a kid, you were like this? No. Like, well, how'd you get laughs as a kid? Oh, God. I mean, we're going to dig deep. We're going to break you. I've been naturally, you know, just so funny my whole Every every time I've ever opened my mouth, like no matter how uncomfortable other people are, you're like I'm funny. Like even oh, as a kid, never, people I put people at ease, <laughs> and people that's, are, that's are definitely are f- <laughs> feel free to be themselves around me. Yeah, I mean, you know, I I may have a so sharp funny, tongue, though. but I have a soft heart. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And <laughs> I'm breaking his voice just cracked. <laughs> It's very emotional. This interview it's should be called right. Schwartz Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Never mind. Okay. Um, he didn't have a reason. And I, one time, real, real answer. I saw, uh, we, mm-hmm. we kicked out this, uh, small lesbian couple and cause they were just talking throughout the whole show. Small, le- they were, sh- they were two, uh, people? uh, Short people? shorter women that oh, were dating each other. Okay. And two Smurfettes walking. And them. they, <laughs> you don't have to laugh at that. And no, they, right. uh, <laughs> they fought everyone in the club. On the way out, they fought the security guards with like when swinging. Do- when Doc was working there, they like kicked him. They broke his glasses. Uh. They like swinging on people. Hey man, you can't be punching people in the yeah. comedy club. <laughs> and he and like yeah, they like I remember Doc. Yeah, they they fought everyone. That was pretty wild. Damn, dude! I heard that uh, Cat Williams. Who did he beat up? No, no, no. He tri- uh, I think he tried. He to- tried to beat up Jamar mm-hmm. Neighbors yeah, and yeah. Jamar. Well, yeah. Oh, beat up his security. Jamar yeah. Neighbors beat up his security guard. Yeah, he's surprisingly well, a good fighter. Well, I mean, he's a boxer, and yeah, he's amazingly ripped and yeah. Right. He yeah. just looks like nerd, like one of those yeah, he looks type like of he's black made, comedians. He looks like he's made of push-ups. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. If you see his body, like, yeah, yeah. when he yeah. takes his, his clothes off. But otherwise, he also, Yeah, he also shows his dick, too, which is pretty cool. Well, On through, through his pants. Oh, he'll, oh. He'll, he'll outline it, and it's yeah. like, it's wow, it's sizable. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Good. It's almost as big as... <laughs> he couldn't even land it. He couldn't mm-hmm. stick the joke. Yeah. It's almost as big as that. Spe- yeah. Speaking of dicks, I, I watched someone draw doodles on someone's testicles during uh, uh, the late night. It was like a Don Barris's time? Yeah, during that Someone during that was time. drawing balls on someone's balls? Possibly. I couldn't see quite see what the doodles were. They were not um, super Stores clear. Stores are stupid. <laughs> yeah. Tom but, Stores sucks. But yeah. <laughs> no, at 2 a.m., it's, it's so dope it's because great. you couldn't do anything else at that time. Like, because the shows have been running, what? Oh, you could do literally anything else. You, well, no, no. I you mean, don't have to. You don't no, have to it's, draw it's, on people's it's art. balls. It's you, art. You, you've seen a lot. I get it. You've seen a lot of comedy and at that point. Exactly. Tr- and Don, who's usually up at the end of the show, will try to, uh, you know, he'll do something kind of weird. He'll, me- he'll mess with people. He'll yeah. do, you know, he'll he'll do his sort of thring, th- you know, ringleader of the, you know, of the crazy, the creepy town. circus. Right. Right. <laughs> it's dope, man. Yeah. I enjoy it. I think uh, this podcast is going well. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. man. Yeah, let's check in. Yeah. 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 Let's make sure, man. So wait, I know. Um, what was my next question? Did I don't I know. You just, you you just these... broke my flow. Oh, sorry, son man. of a... <laughs> son of a... Son, son of, of a gun. bastard. Son of... <laughs> Wait, I had, a, I had a one more uh, comedy story related question. Oh, star making moments. Yeah, because uh, I heard the story about Jack that he was... This is... Uh, is not my story to tell, but, but here, no, no, here no, goes. But I, no, 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 no. I don't want you to tell that story because I'm going to tell it. I want oh, you good. to tell a story of somebody else because I don't know that okay. I'm privy to all the star-making mm, sure. moments so that I, have been at the store. Okay. Let's talk about the time but, we, we were made stars there. Yeah. Uh, I uh, So my buddy, Jack Knight... Uh, well, he's my was buddy. He's, I knew him first. Outside, I want to tell the story, bro. <laughs> outside the window, and Chappelle was on stage in uh, the original room. Tell me my story. And that's literally not your story. I'm a better. I'm a better storyteller. But go ahead. <laughs> and he was with <laughs> Alan. He was with Valentino McCoy. Um, no, I heard he was with um, Garrick Dixon. 
That's not that's not a person. Do you mean Garrick Bernard? Garrick Bernard. Yeah. <laughs> so who knows? Garrick Dixon is a person, but he's a barber uh, and he's a black comedian. But you don't know a lot of those. But Garrick Garrick Bernard is Bernard another black is, comedian. Is, is so everybody. I don't know what you're but talking not an, about. Or not like a black comedian. But yeah, but yeah, okay. He's oh, like he's a, not a black comedian. All right, all right. Let me not burn any bridges. But look, yeah. <laughs> Garrick you Bernard keep hitting my shoulder. So he's not. Burn, g- I'll burn this bridge for you. No, no, no. Is he? So he was with uh, Garrick Bernard. No, he wasn't he, with he Garrick Bernard. He was with Bernard. Tino. All right, fine. And fine. Yeah. And t- they like uh, Chappelle saw them outside. They were like kind of staring. They were too young to get in the club, mm-hmm. and so the only way they could get in was like to be pulled on stage. It, like technically, if you're performing, you're allowed to be in the club, right? But not even anymore. But they got pulled um, on stage. Chappelle talked to him for a little bit, yeah, and was like, "One of you's gonna make it. One of you's gonna flame out." And uh, oh my yeah. god, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said, yeah, and like real foreshadowing. I mean, Tino's doing other stuff, just not really comedy anymore, but Jack God is damn. doing quite well for See, himself. Is that powerful that he just spoke these yeah. words over their careers? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I think if you... If <laughs> He's you, that, like, uh, he has the vision. Well, I yeah. think if you hear that and you believe it, then I think you end up making moves that help prove that to be true. Well, I heard he just got a bunch of calls the next day. I heard, like, this ICM was on his dick and all this other stuff, like, after he did that set. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Like The, the next day. day? This was when they were, like, 19 or 20? Is uh, that what you're saying? Yeah, and then he was writing on something, like, pretty soon thereafter. Yeah, he was... I don't know how... I think it was a couple years right. until he was, like, writing for Lucas Brothers and stuff. Mm. But, I mean, it wasn't, like... The longest it didn't take the longest time for him to blow up, right? Be like a you know. Well, that's enough about Jack Knight. I just mean, have there been any other moments like that in, that you've witnessed at the store? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, is that the only one? I mean, like just a moment where you're like, oh snap, that guy is. You know what I mean? I mean, like, I saw Theo get famous basically, just but it was from, a process. Yeah, it was a process. No, like moment that everyone was like, oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I've I've definitely seen people come into their own more over their time being a comedian, and you get to see them get better and better at the store, which is fun to watch. Mm-hmm. I got to see it with Brent Morin, right? As um, his it's like right before Undateable, Undateable yeah. became a thing. He was a oh. before and you get to see these people work on specials that end up being you know really end up doing great things for them so you, right. get to, you get to see you really get to see the process which is uh one of the few benefits and i love of- the process you know and the industry god i love the industry the bit the business mm-hmm. so yeah cool so mm-hmm. but yeah i feel like those like star making moments that where it's like you get your, your six minutes in front of constant and he he waves you over to the couch i right. feel like that i feel like that happens so Rarely, and it's just you just gotta yeah. keep. There's at almost it. enough comedians too right now. I think almost we're getting there. Yeah, so that <laughs> you know, it, it's, I think it's, if a few it's more not, move here. Yeah, it's we'll be <laughs> perfect. We'll, we'll be at the come to L.A. Move to L.A. If if you're the funny guy in your office, I don't know why you're not in Los Angeles or gal. We're, <laughs> we're, we're or non-binary. We're not. We're not here sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Guy could mean anything. Yeah, guy code. Right. That's something. That was a show. Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely, man. Girl code. I guess they had to separate them, huh? You know? Yeah. Can't have one code for codes. two genders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's binary code. Sure. I was on, uh, I was on Hammurabi's code. <laughs> that's just that's an ancient history joke, and God, am I good at this. I toured the Fertile Crescent. Yeah. <laughs> Are you enjoying it, Alex? Oh, there we go. I knew Alex was going to pop. <laughs> good for you got Alex, man. Took yeah. you a little while. Good, yeah. good job, Luke. No, the Fertile Crescent. Oh, Stuart got him. Sorry, Luke. No, sorry. Keep trying. It's okay. It's, I'm Keep too, trying. I'm too smart for the room. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. You know, I was I, I went to play basketball with uh with Luke. Because um, you, you guys still do that? You play like some comedy store guys get together? Uh, Yeah. And play ball? Yep. You, you know what? You surprised me because I, I thought you were it. bad at first yeah and then i was like oh no he's probably one of those guys that you just think they're bad so i came expecting you to be good mm-hmm. like he probably just has a jumper and then you were worse than i originally thought you were <laughs> you know what i mean like you're really bad so then i was like that's funny yeah <laughs> but you i'm all right no, no you're not good at basketball but you i'll just play not, you one-on-one right now thousand dollars <laughs> but no i would <laughs> yeah what i'm wondering put a grand on it right no but i'm wondering because like why don't we compete because i saw old i've seen old store pictures of like Tim was it Tim Rob Robbins and Letterman they used to like Tim Robbins Tim Robbins that black guy from uh he was a tall black guy and sister sister he was a uh, dad okay. and I he used it. to be a door guy too okay um 
and they, like all the, they used to have leagues, right? Like the store. Why don't why don't they competitive like compete against there's other co- clubs? There's a comedy basketball league. Is there with yeah. clubs competing against each other? Well, yeah. it's not. It's, it's not it's, clubs, but it's different teams that the, are all comedians. Yeah, and, and the, there's like a comedy store team, none of which like work there. But yeah. yeah, they'll they'll call oh. the the team like the comedy store team, but it's not necessarily rigidly affiliated with the store. Yeah. It's just like this is the we'll call this the comedy store. We'll call this one UCB. We'll call this one the Improv. Oh, so but they're not like regulars, but or they door have, guys like, they or have, nothing. Not necessarily. Right? No. Oh, got you. But they have yeah, and well, and there's other team names. I forget like the what networkers or like whatever sure. they call. Yeah, I've also noticed that like the people who are. Well known. I don't like referees. I don't play the. the I've been <laughs> you're, asked. Are you street baller? Several times. Yeah. Um, I have been asked several times, Sean. I, you're painting my basketball skills in a you're very bad. You're horrible. Life. I was an all star when I was a kid. I know the game. I have. I have vision. I have court IQ. I'm a floor general. <laughs> Yo, I'm a driving dish guy, and my jumper's gotten better. And I block at least two shots a game. That's insane. You don't get off the floor. You can't block a shot. You literally had to sub out. Out of a three on three, like he needed a sub, like 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 sub me out. So then, I mean, how do you? You know? played one time. I was having a hard morning <laughs> with a, a might or may not. He called for a sub. Over. No, that's so. Yeah, yeah. I have addiction issues <laughs> really? that that affect me the next day. Oh, I got maybe. you now. Wait a minute. What you kind don't of, got me. I'm I telling got you. you. I got you. I made you tell me that. <laughs> got you. <laughs> I, made I feel like you had very different expectations for this interview than we did. I didn't know yet. Yeah, I didn't know we'd get here, man. Is there a thing? Do when, have, when do we start? Did we start recording yet? <laughs> do you have a, what, are you, what are you addicted to? Uh, well, success and the money, you know, yeah. it's just <laughs> to the game. <laughs> what he yeah. Said, yeah. I'm addicted to the game. <laughs> yeah. And I love the business, mm-hmm. the industry. God, I hope this is on camera. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, I drink a little. Yeah. Yeah. Does he, does he have a problem, Stuart? You're around him a lot. You guys do the um, podcast. And I mean, compared to a lot of our peers, I keep it together. Which I would say, I would say no. I mean, I think there are nights when Luke drinks more than other nights, but I mean, that's uh, true. It hasn't been a situation where right. I've had to like. No take, one's had the talk with me, really. I haven't had to like take care of Luke because of his issue. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Luke arguably. Get, I, I also am able to walk away from like a half finished drink or whatever, so I feel okay about that. And Luke is arguably more loving and affectionate when he oh, is. Oh, people drunk. prefer me not sober. <laughs> yeah, inebriated. Right. I wouldn't Which say I prefer volumes. you that way, but yeah. I, would, I would say that you are you are sometimes <laughs> way more affectionate when you're drunk. Shut up. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> nice, man. I love this friendship. Like, did you guys like each other initially? No. Yeah. I mean, we got we got along in a comedy way that, that made sense to me in the, a way I didn't mm-hmm. get along with other people. Because uh, when Lu- Lu- I was working at the store for like a year, maybe a year and a half, and then Luke moved back to L.A. Mm-hmm. and started working there. And we just we got along, and I said, "Hey, man, I'm I'm trying to write something. Do you want to write it with me?" And then um, I talked to my people. Yeah, they said yeah. it was okay. Yeah, I call I call his reps, <laughs> yeah. and um, I'm right. offer only. But. Yeah, his mom said it was okay for him to come over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, mom's talent agency. <laughs> yeah, MTA. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was great, man. Yeah. So and then who came up with the idea for the uh, originally it was the live show before it became a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Who came up with that idea? Well, I was hosting the mic and some shows at the improv and the artistic director at the time. uh, And just to be good, store doesn't care that you guys do shows at other clubs at all. No, they're they're plenty busy. They're making plenty of money. Right. Not like back in the day. They're doing fine. Yeah. Right. There's there's no. They're in the black. They're not. There's no issue of like loyalty or anything like that. Back in the day, that was a thing. But in the seventies, for sure, Uh, Mitzi was like, "You work my club and no one else's." Right. Right. uh, From what I heard, but Stuart does voices. It's so cool. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, Yeah. man. Don't be jealous because you don't have talent. (laughs) <laughs> he has that actual bag of talent, man. Okay, he then I won't be jealous. <laughs> now that you told me that, <laughs> Mister Mister Sharp Wit. No, Luke, Luke, Luke's comedy is personality driven. Mine's character driven. Yeah, right. uh, right. uh, right. The I. So yeah, there was no issue. <laughs> so different. Those we, two things. <laughs> uh, Jamie and I have this meeting, and uh, yeah. he says, uh, "What would you like to do?" And I said, "I." I always loved shows like Conan, and so I was like, "I love to do a thing like what Conan does." And he said, well, right. "Well, why don't you just do that here?" Right. At the at the improv and so okay wow and yeah. and Luke and I had just moved in together 
and we were. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he came and told me, he said, you're my sidekick. And I was like, yeah. oh, oh, I I didn't know that we were. I thought it would. I thought it would be fun for us to put have a talk show mm-hmm. like that, and I, I could see Luke filling that role better than anyone else that I can think. Yeah, because you guys come together really well. Because I feel like there's there's yeah. a thing with uh, like traditionally in in late night. Yeah, the sidekick is like uh, supportive, supportive, and, and kind of diminutive. Right, but he's like not right. Yeah, like Luke, he has I like am a like different. Not. Yeah, he's like not. He's yeah. like this guy. He's gonna like it's kind of crap on you a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's a <laughs> and the guest, which and the guest. often doesn't go well for the guest and goes okay with the crowd. So, <laughs> yeah. for, for those who are not familiar with the late night show and what has become the late night show, it is a it's a talk show where the the sidekick does not fully support Anything. the host. Or right. anything for that matter, <laughs> right, right, right. and uh, and that is Luke's role. And so it's, um, it's, it's just ba- our basic personalities, yeah. but in a late night format. I tried to run it on a show, and Luke interrupts it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. But it's uh, but it's become really fun, and they they've let us you know build it and let it grow at the Improv, and uh, we decided we wanted to do it, have that dynamic more often. So we made a weekly podcast yeah. last year. So we've released about fifty like fifty one episodes ish. Yeah. 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 yeah, and they're some of them are good actually. Yeah, some of them are good <laughs> for you to say that. Yeah, that's great. So uh, listen to the <laughs> late night podcast, L eight night podcast. Has yep. there been with with what he does? Like, has have any guests like gone off and like or been upset with him? Like, genuinely, not so much on the uh, podcast, not on the podcast, but on the live show a couple times. I've gotten <laughs> yeah, into a little I, bit of hot water. Please, yes, because especially with the live show, we can't go back and watch it. Like, no, tell me yeah, what happened. I don't want to name names, but uh, <laughs> and it's because it's someone I really respect, and like uh, he might not <laughs> want to put it, de- but. I didn't realize that I was like disrespect, but we were having a great time in interview, and uh, I did a like a lightning round of questions. Yeah, and which I just interrupt Stuart in the middle of one of his sentences, and I go lightning round, you know, and I just ask questions to the guest and Stuart. It's a fun bit. It's a good bit, and um, we like, and and he was enjoying it. <laughs> The guest, and at the end of the lightning round, I thought it was about ten minutes of an interview. Yeah, we our interviews used to be like ten minutes. Now we kind of let them go to fifteen. If we, if, yeah, twelve you, or so. We, we want to. I mean, if we're gonna have someone, but who's he was like, like, he was upset that he drove from far away, and it was a good get for us. And he like, it was kind of a draw. It was great, and uh, it was he, Bill Cosby. And uh, we, (laughs) that's it. (laughs) Well, definitely voices. And I, he interviewed me as Bill Cosby. (laughs) Yeah. It it put me to sleep. And I, audiences were weird. I, yeah. So, uh, but like, I was like, oh, that's it. And like, that's the interview. And he was like, that's it. While he was was talking? Oh, no, no, no. Like at the end of the lightning round, which was like, Maybe fifteen questions of like, it was fun. It, it was, was stupid. It was yeah, stupid dumb questions. But, like, but we also try to run a tight show. Yeah, and- it's an hour show, and like he got upset that he was his time was shorter than he expected. I think. Yeah, and I didn't mean anything by that. Like that was the only part he was really upset about, and he, huh. and I like apparently he was like very mad. <laughs> and, then who did he take it out on the club? You mm, like in front of everybody? He goes. Well, something. he's never been back to the improv, and I think he quit comedy. So uh, he took it out on really, you know, just the fans. Yeah, yeah, that don't get to see him anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Uh, there was another situation where we were we had, sometimes we uh, put together powerpoints for the show and because oh. uh, yeah. we, we want to you know we want it to be as interactive an element as possible and we figured it would add to the show but sometimes the tech at uh, at the improv especially early oh when, we were when, doing the, it, when the projector didn't work or yeah, whatever yeah oh. so the projector didn't work and it's it's and I might have been in my cups a little bit and I was insisting that we do it yeah Luke was insisting yeah. that the PowerPoint would go and so we were basically trying to get the PowerPoint to work during the show during an interview and our <laughs> our guest at the time was really not having it <laughs> who was that can we say that guest uh i don't know i i'd ra- i don't i'd Let's rather not, not say come yeah. on man give the tea this is a comedy pop up baby it was uh it was Rita Rudner, yeah. and uh, she was not. Uh, <laughs> it was Gilda Rudner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. I just it was one of those things where we we try things; they don't always work, right? Uh, but I think people do who come to the live show do enjoy because of our relationship and how um, you know 
the discord that our relationship the show sucks it's great yeah so because because we're, <laughs> we're we are kind of at odds sometimes when we're at odds in in real time with yeah. something like a technical issue that makes it um that can make it exciting so it was i think it was one of those things where it got funny and then it was like not funny and then it got funny again right. and then it really didn't get funny for a while <laughs> and i don't think it made it but way, yeah, it's i way had, a, I had a wireless again. mic and i'm on the mic the whole time like click it and the whole audience is like click that one button because you can see the screen you can see the screen. and it was fuck, i think it was was it <laughs> rick at, who was doing sound or I, can't, I can't remember i'm it, i'm it was alex, you alex it was you, Alex? Yeah. Oh, you ruined wow. the show? Nah, he didn't ruin the show. The, I mean the, the tech is not great. The uh, projector went out two days ago, so the improv keeps... Their improv can buy better equipment and right. stop ruining shows. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. And, yeah. I, was everybody gonna, I was really about to throw Rick under the bus, too. He's, yeah. That's me. I'll take it. Okay. No, it's, I mean, and, and yeah, it's... it's well, no, Rick sucks anyway. That's fine. <laughs> Rick. It's it's no fault. Don't, don't throw Rick under the bus. No, no, <laughs> oh, he's already been thrown under a bus. <laughs> he got hit by uh, that car. Oh, right? oh, yeah, he did get hit by a car. <laughs> Like, <laughs> now, but, to the butt, no. but yeah. I mean, you know, the the improv hires people who are you know, are capable of, of what they do. I don't know what the what the prerequisites are to be a sound person, but I think sometimes the equipment is faulty. You know, that's right. You know, that's just something that happens, and we, I we think try to make it work. Part of the, that, that's what makes it dope, man. That's what yeah. makes the show like, oh, anything can happen. I I just didn't want to run just another stand up show. Yeah, like Luke and I probably could have made something fun if we just ran a stand up show. It's, this is better. And and one time, yeah. Luke, and one time, Luke couldn't be in town, and I didn't think the show would work the same way with just me. So I did just a showcase of comics, right. and that was fine. That was right. fun, but I think what we do together is more interesting than yeah. either of us individually. One time, Rick was at the store, and uh, this is a sound I, guy. He's this a sound, girl, guy. Yeah, again, sound again. guy at the improv, and he and he came. He he he. Me and a uh, mutual friend, Matt Lockwood. Oh, I love Matt. Lockwood. Uh, yeah, he's your he's your best friend, and uh, we were we were just uh, talking, and Rick came up and was like, "Hey, can I be friends with you guys?" And it was like kind of a bit and kind of not, and we were like, "I mean, why would you ask that?" <laughs> you know? And but um, this uh, nice young woman who'd seen Matt perform uh, came up to Matt and was very complimentary, and then Rick was like, "Hey, I'm Rick," and then really just. The most classic cock blocking I've ever seen. <laughs> also, the lady was in interested. My interested in Matt. And then she kept talking to Matt, and then Rick would go, Well, I do that too. And like just kept inserting himself, which really made me turn the corner on Rick. Uh, and I was like, Who I was like, you know, a buddy with, whatever. And now it's just like. Yeah, he's, I'm still a buddy, but I don't yeah. like him. Yeah, he's great. He's my best friend. I mean, that he's my dad. Yeah, it's it's a weird thing. It's a weird thing that happens with you know comedians who are in this sort of come yes, up zone. in this they're, spectrum. Yeah, yeah. It's like there, there's the spectrum of success, and then there's also the spectrum of autism, autism which we're all sure. on. Yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. we're That's all on both of those. And it's one of those things where you know I think. I don't I hope know if this, Rick listens to this. I don't know if this is what ha I don't know if this was happening in your situation, to but this. I think. Right. What can happen is you have a you, you, there's a desperation that happens, right. and I think it, it's exacerbated at a place like the comedy store because there's a patio where there's just especially on like a Monday where people are signing up for potluck and everyone's just like desperate to get on the show yeah. and desperate to be seen and heard in the way that they want to be seen and heard. Honestly, just move to L.A., everybody. Yeah, move there's, to L.A. There's so much room <laughs> um, and there's like almost enough It's your comedians. time. Yeah. We it's get about 170 time. people signing up for the open yeah. mic every Monday. Don't so. stay in your comfortable smaller affordable market scene, scene affordable where you can be a big fish and booked all the time yeah right. come Don't, to los angeles where you've you got won't make it and then you'll trash the you, city that is you know one of the biggest <laughs> metropolises on earth you've got to has, be the best you, know. you can be in your town yeah. now it's time to move to the major leagues oh yeah. yeah man yeah <laughs> i don't want everybody you know i'm, I'm no. not gonna let you get away with leave this your move. family wait no, I, w I want everybody to know. I've seen Luke be a regular person. Like I, I ran into Luke. I'm a great a, guy. No, 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 no. But no, no, <laughs> not from what, but when people watch you, they don't know. But when I saw you at an ice skating, uh, we were uh, randomly. I was oh, with yes. my girl, oh, yes. and I saw Luke, and I was with your girl too. <laughs> <laughs> we were all with each other. You see girl. Me? Yeah. And I was really glad because he didn't do any of this in front of my girl because my girl would have hated him. She I did. I did a little shit talking, and she. We were all laughing, but not like. 
He was like a regular guy because I couldn't yeah. skate. Like it was kept it reasonable. Yeah. Of me. Yeah. It was reasonable. I was like, oh god! Like when I saw Luke, I was like, here we go. <laughs> my girl's gonna be like. And then afterwards, he's gonna you, ruin you, my girl's day. <laughs> you she, you she wanted like, to double date afterward. That's I was how, like, like, oh yeah, you know, that's how like nice I was. Being. Because I don't think it was you. I think it was your girl. Because your girl's a regular person. She's not a comedian. Is she in the entertainment business at all? Uh, no, she's just a regular genius who's cooler and hotter than anyone. Oh so, yeah. yeah, she was. Yeah, she was really good. Out of my league. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to yeah, say yeah. that, but there you go. You, you had started the sentence, <laughs> so I finished it for you. Would I, you say I, she's I can read the writing on the wall within your ballpark? <laughs> she's she's dope, man. Yeah. I was like, oh, I think she's making him like a cool. Just like mm-hmm. this is not on Luke. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's cool. So how did you guys meet, or how did why did she well, interest in you? Stockholm syndrome is a powerful <laughs> tool. When you hold someone in your in your basement for a long time, <laughs> yeah, I was an addict. You know, sort of a. You know, uh, <laughs> did you say attic? Or yeah, was attic? She, like she's your Anne Frank. Yeah, she, oh, yes. she was in your attic. And frankly, I kept her there for <laughs> Anne Frankly. Oh, yes. Great. Um, yes. What is this? An outcast lyric? Um, <clears throat> let's hit the attic and hide out for about two weeks. Um, you're so in You know what I mean? It's, I know, I it's know, yeah. Right. Um, so <laughs> I, this is like the third time I've dated her and uh, this one seems to be sticking. It's really nice. Yeah, she's great. Oh, dope, man. Yeah. And I know, and, uh, Stuart, you've been dating, I don't know. Stuart is dating my roommate, Anna. Anna Valenzuela. She's an yes. amazing comedian. Also Very comedian. funny comedian, I Anna Valenzuela. The only guest we've had who um, is also dating somebody in the industry, right? Really? So like, what, what, I don't know. Yeah. I don't listen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, because I know there are more uh, Rich Voss and and uh, who's it? Uh, Bonnie McFarlane. Bonnie McFarlane. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of great successful. Kind of, is it like is uh, was Tom that and a, Christina? There's a lot. I mean, there's a are there? Wait, who's Natasha Tom? and Moshe? Oh yeah, Tom Clark. Oh my goodness. I mean, there's a mil- and like all the open micers that continually fuck each other. That's a circle. Of no, but that's what I was saying. Because yeah, that's there's right. that. But what I mean is to be an established people are couple just throwing it and around, both finding honestly. success in the business. Move to L.A. Catch chlamydia, yeah, from the open mic scene. That's what all those billboards are for. Were you yeah. worried going into it? Like, oh man, I don't these pitfalls. Of, I was uh, worried for Stuart nah, going nah, into nah, it. He's not asking you, Luke. He's it doesn't you, matter. He's asking um, me. Yeah, <laughs> you just happen to be sitting in the middle of this. I, it's a very awkward setup, but I guess it's good for the camera. And what a tablecloth you have here! Right? I say, I I know. will say that I I thought very I thought very long and hard about the, the concept of dating a comedian because. I had I'd I'd gone on dates with a comedian a different comedian once uh, before, but Ooh. it didn't. Uh, di- oh come on! It didn't end up working out, and yeah. so <laughs> Whitney Cummings. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was with. Yeah, she, was, she she's very busy. You know, she just didn't have time for yeah. Uh, yeah. a relationship. But uh, I was uh, so I when I was dating around, I had just uh, ended a relationship with someone who I who I'd known for a long time. Right. And I was trying to – I'd gone on dates with, like, friends of friends. Mm-hmm. and like, That always works out. People I'd been set up with or, like, people I'd, I'd sometimes meet after shows. And the, it was just one or two dates, and it just didn't work. Mm-hmm. It wasn't – the chemistry wasn't there. Right. And Real quick, uh, people – being set up with by friends is stu- – uh, uh, I don't know why everyone's scared of it. Um, uh, I got set up by this uh, other girl. Who was like, oh, you'd, you'd love to date my friend. And then uh, we talked on the phone and it never happened. And then and then a year later, uh, she told me that that girl that she tried to set me up with was now a lesbian. So I don't know why anyone's scared of just like friends getting set up for friends. Yeah. Well, sometimes it does work. But uh, yeah. but I also was dating people who I didn't really know uh-huh. very well. And, yeah. I, and for me, it really helps to know someone better before yeah. I start to, you know, enter something romantic with them. So... But I had known Anna for a little while and we become good friends. And so uh, I just kind of had a realization. It's like, oh, maybe I should just date people I like. Right, right, right. It makes sense. And you guys. And that does make a lot of sense. What's yeah, up? it just it, it, it was yeah. it sounds so simple. But right. <laughs> I think in practice, a lot of people falter uh, yeah. in that realm. And so I just, you know, we 
once we started dating, it just it felt easy. Yeah, and when I see you guys together, it's not. I don't know. You guys seem like you're in professional mode, even though you're around each other. Do, do you do you feel that way? Do you feel like you mean oh, when we're at like a show or something? Yeah, you're both at a show. You're not. It's not when I say that you're not like hugged up, kissing or hold, holding yeah. hands as much. You're both just comics who are there. Yeah, and I, I think we. Yeah, just, you don't make people feel awkward by being too. And yeah, of course. Yeah, you're, no, no, you're no, like because people. I mean, you still because there's a thing if you don't claim her right. Have you ever had guys hit on her in front of you or something um, like that happen? Like another I, comic or I'm so not. Yes. Pers- I think yes, that's happened. And I'm not perceptive to that situation because sometimes, <laughs> well, sometimes because we're just Thanks sort of, funny. we're just kind of milling about in like a comedy club or in a show setting and we're not always like locked, you know, arm in arm. Right, right, right. So right, she'll be talking to someone and I'll be talking to someone else yeah. in a different part of the room and someone will hit on her or someone will say something like rude to her oh. and I'm not, and I'm not there to hear that kind of thing. Right, and so right, I'll right. hear about it later. Oh. Uh, like we, like there was a situation, you know, that where the three of us were traveling and someone said something rude to Anna while Luke and I were outside. A comedian or like a, an audience person? An a audience comedian person. slash booker. Oh, um, this was uh, up in the Bay. Yeah, so I don't, I don't want to get into it. Uh, no, that's a story for a different podcast. M- more than that. But the person said something rude to Anna, uh, something really rude, and I wasn't there to hear it. And we he, she joined us outside and was like, let's just let's just get out of here. Wow. And yeah, she told yeah, yeah. told me about it in the car, and it was just like it was such a mix of things because I had brought Anna and Luke up to the bay to show them a good time because it's where I'm from and right, it's where right, I started right. comedy and there's good shows to be a part of. There's a lot of fun shows, right? But um, there was there's a lot of fun shows in the Bay Area. But there was a <laughs> yes, but there was a mix. Uh, there was a mixed bag reaction as to right. how uh, you know the three of us were received. I mean, I'm I'm a hometown boy coming home. Uh, but Luke and Anna had. I'm an a, asshole. Luke had a different. Luke and Anna had a different experience. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. and Luke ended up like responding to it on social media in oh, in his way. Oh, just a just a a pa- fleeting passive aggressive like tweet that could have been about any scene or whatever, and it wasn't even about that moment. It was yeah. like I tweeted that earlier in the. It, 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 it's, anyway. it's all in the past. It's fine. Is but it still up on? Follow your me Twitter? on Twitter. Uh, right, I'm sure. Saying. I'm sure it's from a couple years ago. If you want to oh, dig that damn. deep, but anyway, so that was yeah. um that was something that we you know that's happened before, and I think and I think people have you know, hit on Anna before, and I'm. It's usually when I'm not right there. I, yeah, I don't. I constantly yeah. hit on her. Right, and that is weird in the in <laughs> our but it's living all, situation. It's always right. when you're around and Stuart just sits there seething, and then <laughs> yeah. takes me aside and goes, "That was really good. Can I use some of that?" <laughs> and I go, "Yeah, man, I'm doing it for you. <laughs> trying to get both of you revved up here." Yeah, yeah. man, that's dope, man. Well, you guys are both doing your thing. I know Thank we're you, man. running out of time. I know uh, who's so when. Wow, the, we're wrapping up, huh? Uh, this, you're done with us. Uh, that was smooth how I did it. No, because because we're getting uh, the light. But anyway, but I wanted to plug some more stuff. I mean, sure. I know you got uh, some more podcasts coming up. Who's, yes. Yeah, who are your guests? Uh, that you got a lot. Are you free? Oh man, here we go. Yeah, yeah I'd love to. Yeah, do we can yeah, do the sure. exact same thing for another forty-five minutes <laughs> on, a, no, you just on have something a, that's not a new It's channel. like a late-night format, though, right? Because you have a stand-up on the podcast, no, right? Not no, on the not podcast. On the so, podcast, just an interview uh, with we, us two and Sean Graham. Yeah, it's our it's our dynamic, and we focus on just one guest as yeah. opposed to having oh, multiple interviews yeah. and multiple stand-ups. The live show, though, is a real fun. We have a different music uh, guest every I'll month, say, yeah. like a house band. They play in between acts. Um, we have a stand up at the beginning and the end. Yep. And we have uh, two guests who hopefully are famous enough to get people there. Yep. Oh. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a real like fun show. It usually is about an hour, hour ten. Right. Yeah. And it's right. like quick. It's concise. And we have it, and we usually have it as like a later show. It's usually at ten yeah. or eleven in, in the evening. Yeah. So it yeah. feels like you're because that's the there. slot they gave us. Yeah. <laughs> not not by choice. <laughs> but it also it also feels like you're at a late night show. Right. And we and um do you guys uh the show has a an Instagram right? Yep. The, an yeah, Instagram and a Twitter. It. You can follow it at the L eight night show. The, the late, late night, night show. show. Uh-huh. He does that every time. Wow, that was great. perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you guys individually have to. This will this will be out next Tuesday. Next so Tuesday. Ah, we can plug see you next show. Tuesday. No, no, but, but yeah. right. <laughs> we can plug any shows that are right. coming up like, after uh, that. Like well, or, yeah. So our uh, our next live show, since this will be coming out next uh, next Tuesday, it was March twenty third, Saturday, Ooh. March twenty third, yes. at the Hollywood Improv Lab yes. at eleven p.m. Nice. We've uh, got uh, uh, Preacher, Preacher Lawson, Alana Johnston, Alana. 
Hannah Johnston, who was just on Comedy Bang Bang again. That was and, really cool. And she was on Conan recently. She was on Conan recently, yeah. And then and our stand-ups are going to be Shanna, Cri- Shanna Christmas. Shanna Christmas and Jeff Shana. May. Je- I think it's Shauna. I'm sorry. <laughs> the, the tall, yeah, she's really. She, she's, pro, she used to play basketball. Really tall, really funny. Um, that's really racist. Uh, <laughs> she's tall and she played basketball. That's so. I can't believe it. <laughs> uh, Jeff May is also on the show, and then our musical guest will be uh, Pat, Pat Reagan. Pat Reagan. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. That'll yeah, be a fun be show. Stacked, and he's yeah, man. He's hilarious. So yeah. it's just laughing throughout yeah. the whole show, man. And Sean, your band. Oh, okay. uh, for this interview, honestly, for taking Stuart's side so many times, you know, welcome back Stuart, on my show. That's the di- that's a good dynamic because he's a likable person. It's easier, yeah. And everybody's gonna love you, but you're like that guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, Luke, yes. is, Luke is daring people to like. Yes, him. right. Yeah. It's like the, yeah. You think you hate me? <laughs> I hate me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I love it, yeah. man. And I know we got some comedy pop up stuff coming up. Any live shows that you know of, Alex? No, not, but you can go to comedypopup.com. No. <laughs> comedy Pop-Up LA. Comedy Pop-Up LA. Instagram, you, comedy Pop-Up. you couldn't right, get comedypopup.com? <laughs> Damn. No? Oh, but there is a website. What is it? Not net? It's comedypopupla.com. Yeah. Oh, .com. Yeah. Comedypopupla.com. Yeah. Yep. Gotcha. There you go. Yeah. There you go. For any upcoming shows, we do live shows. Very nice. You know you could do like dot .ninja now and like dot dot .whatever. You can do dot .xyz. Yeah. Huh. You can do dot .xyz. Yeah. Huh. It's so... The internet is crazy. Right. <laughs> Speaking of, what's your, uh, I know you're at help, 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 right? Help. For help. For helps. Yes. At help, help, help on Because help was taken. <laughs> help, help was taken. <laughs> I had to do help, 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 help. It's actually a very interesting uh, idea. It's okay. I, I like the way you brand it. Every picture, Every picture has my middle finger has in his it. middle finger yeah. in it. Yeah. Even the ones with his mom, everything. Yeah. Like, <laughs> people like those a lot. <laughs> so, and my, and my, I always tell my mom to smile a lot. Yeah. Uh, and she hates me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Real quick, before we get Stuart's info and, and sign out. At Luke uh, does stuff on Twitter. Yep. Uh, before, uh, before we get Stuart's, so we got a uh, mm-hmm. live show at the Sycamore Tavern Wednesday, March. 20th at 9 30. There you go. Um, yeah, at the and dojo? It's got Sam Tri- at the dojo. It's got mm-hmm. Sam Tripoli, uh, Kara- Kira Sultanovich, mm-hmm. Byron nice. Bowers, a bunch of people. Joe Anyone funny? Uh, <laughs> no, Battle, I like them all. Yeah, Kate we'll Holloway, get Nicole to them. <laughs> so, yeah, Wednesday, March 20th. Come check it out. And Stuart, how can people stay in touch with Stuart you on, is Thompson. on <laughs> yeah, You can go to my website, StuartThompsonComedy.com. It has my calendar and, and mine. Yeah, it I, has I'm Luke's calendar of, too. I'm part of that. I'm, yeah, I'm just going to not make my own website while I'm on to your. Yeah, Luke, Luke is a the uh, effort. Luke is a sharecropper on my website. <laughs> uh, I'm a vassal. <laughs> we have an easement to He's his. He's my stuff. surf. Yeah, uh, it's my fiefdom. He's a yeah, sure. He's working the field. Yeah, uh, but uh, you can no, also, no fertile crescent laugh from you on that. One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, medieval jokes. Alex has a very specific century that he will laugh <laughs> <Yeah>. at. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh man! So, and you can also go to my Twitter, which is uh, at uh, at Stuart B Thompson, and it's the same as my Instagram, Perfect. Stuart B, with a U. B Man, Thompson. I had so much, I had so much fun with you guys. Oh, yeah, thanks, this Sean. Is okay. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> I had fun, Sean. I don't think this is the worst through. episode. Yeah, <laughs> appreciate you guys for watching, listening, and this is comedy pop up. Peace. I love you.